Washington's not able to come up with the catch. And a lot of times you see a receiver drop a pass, they take their eyes off it, that's one thing, or they're just trying to get it in their hands too quick. Why? Because they're trying to make some yards after the catch. That was the problem that time. And they're all over him for the sack. You know you got a good defense when you can hit the quarterback and sack him when you're only sending your defense in front and no blitzers. Looks like they're in press coverage here. The defense needs a big stop here in order to give the offense a chance as we're running low on time in this one. Davis can't bring it in. That'll probably go as a drop. That was a nice call by the defensive coordinator that time. He stays aggressive, and he puts the offense in a fourth down situation. They bring back out the offense to go for it. Leading and with possession of the football, a good place to be at this point in the game. The Patriots will take the snap from the 30. Wilson's got the catch and the first. I don't know if I agree with that call going forward on fourth down here in the second half when you got a little lead, but the coach is confident. They go for it on fourth down, they pick it up, and that keeps the drive going. And the defense will use one of its timeouts right here. Coming to the line at the 48. The Raiders defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Gets the handle here. And that's Stephen Tullock who brings him down. Defense calls a timeout. Second and four following the run. Stafford lines up in the pistol. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Second and four. They'll go ground. Ball is out. A recovery by the defense. Well, the one thing we know about the NFL, when you have the football in your hands, they are going to attack it. You've got to know that as a ball carrier, protect it a lot better. The Raiders have been in a fight today. The score's 20 to 15. Time is beginning to fade, but the quarterback knows his team still has a chance. He must produce something in a hurry. Foster's marked down at the 41. Running backs in the NFL now, it's hard to bring them down. That time, nice job of breaking the tackle. Second down now. This game is closing in on a finish, and the defense can make one play and basically end the game. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. The Raiders snap it at the 41. Williams is there to take him down. Well, I don't know what to say there, Jim. I don't get it. You run the football in this situation, and my question is, what? And I'm sure that's going to be a question this coach is going to hear from all the reporters when this game is over. The Raiders did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and you, know, you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. First down at the 48. And it's complete to Jason Witten. The football sits at the 42-yard line. The Patriots' defense now is going to go nickel. First and 10. And the quarterback gives it to Arian Foster. The Raiders head to the line. They've got one timeout left in the game. Good job by the offense going to hurry up offense. You do this to get the plays in, but also you want to conserve the timeouts. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. Foster is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. 
First and ten. Vic's going to take off with it. And methodically, he just throws it away. Well, that time, the quarterback, nobody open as he drops back, so he scrambles out of the pocket, and he lives to play another day, helps the offense. Instead of taking a sack, throws the football away. The Raiders head to the line. They've got one timeout left here in the fourth quarter. The Patriots come out in a dime package. Second down and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. And this goes incomplete as he was looking over the middle. Well, when you get in a situation like this, Jim, and you get third and long, I'll tell you what catches a defense by surprise. Run a double move on the outside against the defensive back because everybody in the stands and the defensive players all think you're going to throw it short. In completion here as he was looking over the middle. So they're coming off an incompletion. They do have a timeout, so they could go to the middle of the field if they want to here in the late stages. You're exactly right. That's what it does for you. You know, the defense is not done. They're going to protect deep. They're going to protect the sidelines. They want you to throw it underneath. And if you do and you get tackled, you're right. Use that timeout. The Raiders have to take their final timeout. That's it. Fourth down and ten, and they're going to go for it. Crucial play here. Fourth Let's down go. on the way. The Raiders have it at the 29. Looking across the middle, makes the catch. Touchdown as we near the end of this one. So many people you can give credit to on a drive like this when you're down late in the game and you march down the field and score and take the lead. What a job. I'm going to give credit to the offensive line. They were terrific. Let's go. Move. Count. Hey, interesting decision. I think we're going to see more two-point conversions in the league this year than ever before because kicking an extra point from the 15-yard line, it's not a gimme anymore. Beckham is going to run this one out. And he's met head on right there at the 20. The Patriots offense comes out here, Phil, desperately looking to put a drive together that can give them a chance here late to win this game. Always the tough thing to do in a situation like this for the offense is don't try to make the big play. Let it happen. Take a short game. And he's forced to the ground. The Patriots signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. Second down, late in the fourth quarter. Stafford set in the pistol. Launching it deep. What a catch. One-handed. No surprise. They immediately call the timeout. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. First down at the 48. The play is made by Beckham. The Patriots call for the timeout. They're in field goal range now and should have a chance to tie the game at the very least. The game on the line right here. He hits this, and we're going to overtime. And it's good. We are going to overtime. The Raiders ready to return the kickoff.
Jackson's got it. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The Raiders now ready to take over again on offense. They were successful on their previous drive, getting the ball all the way to the end zone. I'm sure they're looking for more of the Let's same go. right now. Oh, absolutely. That's that's what you always want. You want to find your way to the end zone. And so many people contributed on that last drive, and you've got to give the coaches a lot of credit for putting the players in excellent position. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Well, they go for the bomb, but the defensive backfield was not fooled. Yeah, they were all over at that time, and they just, that was like shadow defense. Wherever the receiver was going, the defense was right next to him. Great job. Throws the pass. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Well, sometimes when you have a talented receiver, you just got to put up with plays like that. He might drop a few, but when he does catch it, it can make a big play. On the way, third down. Wow, the D-line going into that spread look. They want to get to that quarterback. Can't find a mark, and this is going to bring up fourth down. Short series this time for the offense. Kanan will be called on now to punt the football. Beckham is going to make the fair catch this time. The Patriots put some points on the board on their previous possession. Although it was just a field goal, Phil, they'll be looking to add some more right here. Oh, absolutely. I think they were disappointed in that last drive. You got it going. You think here comes a touchdown, and it doesn't work, and you kick a field goal. So a little disappointed. That should give them some momentum to get tougher and make this happen and get a touchdown. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. You see the linebackers moving? What they're trying to do is confuse the quarterback. And here's the toss. And at the 37, he'll be brought down. I got to give this running back a lot of credit. How about that? He fumbled earlier in the game, but now he is running free. Uh, just all out and getting those extra yards after the hit. The Patriots from the 37. Still on his feet. And he's out of bounds. The Raiders guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over. And they got it in the backfield and made the tackle. The Patriots from the 37. connect on that pass play but it's still third down the Raiders lined up in the nickel takes it from the eye now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field you one thing you're going to get more carries that was a big gainer now it's time to back it up quick drop back it's a walk off touchdown beyond belief nice throw by the quarterback that time put it right on the money not a big window it doesn't matter to him today great control of the football put it right in there for the touchdown so we had to go to overtime to find a winner in this one, and one team found a way to get it done. Yeah, they did. You know, in overtime, it is a nervous time. And to get it done in overtime, that has to be a wonderful feeling. For Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.